For many years, the NFL had some of the biggest personalities and touchdown dances displayed in sports, entertaining fans worldwide with hilarious celebrations once they crossed the goal line. In 2006, the NFL began an effort to cut down on celebrations by finding players who left their feet or used props, such as an object or the goalpost. The NFL also gave excessive celebration penalties to teams, which consisted of a 15-yard penalty on kickoff. Luckily, the league cut down on the severity of this in 2017, although you don't see the same type of entertaining celebrations as before. Some of my favorite players to watch on Sundays as a teenager were Chad Johnson, Randy Moss, T.O., and Steve Smith. These guys had attitude that although may have been a bit controversial at times, gave fans excitement on game day. Any publicity is good publicity, right? Here are a couple of my favorite celebrations. Of course, we have to start off with Ocho Cinco himself, one of my favorite personalities to ever play. Against the Bears, he pulled off the river dance, which eventually led to getting him on the TV show Dancing with the Stars. Steve Smith pulled off one of the most intense and creative celebrations. One of my favorites involved Smith scoring against the Vikings, hopping in his rowboat, pretending to row away like he's being chased. What makes this celebration so unique is that this is right after the Minnesota Vikings love boat scandal. I'll let you look into that on your own time. Although most touchdown celebrations have just been some funny dances, there has also been some disrespectful ones. A couple that come to mind is the time T.O. scored a touchdown against the Dallas Cowboys, running to midfield and aggressively spiking the ball down in the middle of the star as Owens attempted to disrespect the entire Cowboys organization. One of the worst celebrations I've seen came when Randy Moss scored a 34-yard touchdown against the Packers. Moss immediately immediately went over, pulled his pants down, and rubbed his ass against the goalpost in Lambeau Field. Now, this was a ballsy play, and I don't know how he made it out of that stadium alive. I would love to turn on the TV on Sundays just to see my favorite players score that week and see what he did. Overall, I think this boosted NFL ratings, even with a couple disrespectful ones. How would the game be today if they never fined players and allowed them to use props? Also, what's your favorite touchdown celebration of all time? Let us know down below.